All right, everyone, I'm doing another quick video for you here today. Um, this is the only spot I could find at this park that didn't have a ton of people. There is just people out like crazy right now. I guess it's because it's the first, you know, 80 degree, nice, beautiful day in March here in North Carolina. But anyway, um, I'm here with my Rad Rover and, you know, I do a lot of videos on this bike telling you about the things I add to it and about the performance and upgrades and blah, blah, blah. But uh, when I'm out riding this, I'll go riding through town and I always get stopped by people that want to know more about it. And, you know, I try to think about what, what do they ask me? And really, honestly, they ask me the basics of how does this thing work? So that's what I'm going to tell you today. I'm going to tell you how you know, an e-bike basically works. They're all roughly the same. Um, there's a couple little nuances to be aware of, but so uh, I guess to start out, let's go over the parts of it real quick. You got your display up here, which is gonna tell you, you know, distance, miles per hour, uh, your pedal assist modes and all that stuff, right? So that's your, like your dashboard. You've got your battery pack. This is what gives you all the, the power um, that comes off and on the bike. You can take it into your house to charge it. And uh, this is your controller. This is the brains of the bike. It tells how much power to output from the battery, sends all the stuff up to the control, showing you everything you need on the display. And all the power comes back here to the hub motor. Your motor's back in here, inside the back wheel, hidden. So that's where the motor is. Controller, battery, dashboard, right? Okay. That's the basic equipment on this bike. Um, now there's a couple different ways to ride it and number one is you can ride it just like a regular bike you don't even have to turn it on you can pedal this thing around and ride it like a normal mountain bike with no power so that's good also too if you run out of battery you can just pedal it home right so that's number one way you ride it the number two way you can ride this is with pedal assist there is right down here there's a little sensor back in here um, with magnets it tells the computer when you're pedaling and as you're pedaling it gives you power so it makes pedaling crazy easy you feel like Superman pedal on this right so that's the second way to ride it with pedal assist which basically just gives you some assistance from the motor as you pedal and makes it super easy to ride third way number three way to ride it is like a motorcycle honestly where you just sit on the bike and right here let me turn it off so you twist this, it's your twist throttle, just like a motorcycle. And uh, you twist that, it gives you a ton of power and you take off. You don't even have to pedal, right? That's just the on off switch for the throttle. So there you go, three ways to ride it, like a regular bike, getting help from the motor as you pedal, or ride it like a motorcycle. So that's the basics of this bike some basic stats are if you're pedaling and using pedal assist you can get probably about 40 miles of range out of the battery if you're using just the throttle not pedaling at all you get about 20. this one comes stock with 750 watts which is quite a bit um, for everyday use the everyday person you're never going to need more than that i upgraded mine it's pushing out over 1200 now so it's got a ton of power it's very very quick off the line it's not melting the tires or anything like that, but it's much faster. What else? Um, you can buy these online. There are a million different brands. They're pretty much all the same parts. They all use Bafang motors. They all use these juggernaut wheels. They all have Shimano shifters. Um, it's pretty much all the same parts and pieces, just relabeled a different brand. I think they're pretty much all made in China. Um, but this one's been good. Brad Rover, they're based out of Seattle. Um, it's been reliable for me. It's held up well. I have no problems, complaints with it yet at all. Um, there's a lot of different brands. You can pay as much as you want for these. I've seen them up to like three grand. This one was $1,500 shipped to my door. All I had to do was put on the handlebars and the front wheel. Um, but you can find them cheaper. Uh, sometimes these go on sale and they're $1,300, $1,299. Uh, there's a lot of different versions. This one's very tall. If you're not tall, don't get this one. It's huge. I'm six foot one. There's times where I'm tippy towing it if I have the seat up. So they make step through versions and they make mini versions that have smaller wheels, like 20 inch wheels. 
these are uh, from ground to top of the tire are 29 inches uh, it does have a headlight these are aftermarket the mirrors that I put on the bag and the rack are aftermarket but that's some of the basics of how this works let me show you let's just circle around here turn the display on so you can see on my pedal assist one actually I'm not even gonna pedal I'm just gonna twist this and we're gonna start going ready So there you go. Don't even have to pedal if you don't want to. So I would recommend this bike for uh, people that want to have fun on an electric bike. Um, I think it's going to be kind of the future of transportation. I would highly recommend this for, highly recommend it for retired folks. I've put my father on this bike. He's about 67. He loves it. He wants to get one for himself because it just, it makes you feel uh, like you can ride anywhere and do anything not get tired just to put it in perspective You kind of have to go ride one first to truly understand just how easy it is So if you know of a place just google somewhere around you where you can rent them and try them and you'll see what I mean uh, But just to give you an example. I've heard that a professional cyclist You know their power output when they're pedaling is I think about 250 watts Okay, so this bike's putting out 1200 so do the math <laughs> it's like pedaling with the help of several professional cyclists um, so that's why i'm saying it just makes it crazy easy but yeah they're uh they're they're a blast it should be great if you have like a rv and you want to throw these on the back to ride around It'd be phenomenal for that i love cruising down the greenways on this thing uh, it's also an intention getter so i hope that answers some of the basics of the bike for you and um Go out, search out, you know, best quality ones. I, I, This one's got my stamp of approval. I haven't had any problems with Rad yet. So, and I've had this bike for over two years. It's done well. So, uh, I'd say that's a good brand. There's other ones out there. Um, I haven't ridden any of the other brands. I haven't ridden any Super 73s or Juiced bikes or Onyx or Bolton or any of those. So, I, I can't speak to those. Um, but, like I said, they all use basically the same parts. So, they're all probably roughly the same. But check them out. It's a great time. That's all for today. Thanks, guys.